Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Okay, let's start with the next content. This is our lecture number seven from the unit three, and today we are going to start with the logic and the uh, inferences point. Now, already uh, in the first lecture, also we have discussed what exactly mean by the logic and why it is uh, important. now even if we think about our uh, human being okay when we are uh, when you have to take some kind of decision okay suppose if i give the example suppose uh, there is a exam your exam semester exam in the next week and also your other friends have asked you to just uh, let's go for the trip somewhere so you have the multiple options here to take the decision so you have to choose from that option whether you should go for the trip or whether you should study for your exam which is being scheduled in the next week so these are the multiple option you are having okay in your mind and uh, so based on the some what we can say logical you you you, you can give some logical reason to your friend that i ca i cannot come because you are having your exam in the next week so this is nothing but the uh, what you can say taking the decision out of the available options now you can see this example i have given you just uh, you know to understand how the human being can think logically understood now we want our artificial agent should also think in this way in this way in uh, using giving some logical reasons so then and then only we can say the uh, it has a artificial human even also if you take the example of some uh, you know to understand the concept of what exactly mean by the logic now suppose you used to do the program suppose i ask you to do the program of uh, find out the uh, average of 10 numbers now you have the knowledge what knowledge you are having how to find the average of 10 numbers now you have the knowledge that you can take the 10 numbers from the user side by using some array and then you can divide that uh, numbers by uh, 10 as you want to find the average of 10 numbers that is the knowledge you are having understood but how how will implement that okay how will write the program for that understood using some c language or the c++ language how will apply your logic so that you can get the correct answer so you apply your logic by representing your knowledge you are getting what i am saying knowledge used to be there in your brain correct all of you are agree knowledge used to be there in your mind in your brain but when you represent in order to represent that law in order to represent that uh, knowledge which you are having there is a necessity of some logic yes or no Yes. You know to yes, sir. You know to represent that logic uh, knowledge you are having. You know to represent that knowledge. You need some kind of what you can say the logic. So when when now when you represent that knowledge using some logic, understood. So that is nothing but you are we can say the some kind of decision you have made from the knowledge you are having. Now we want that kind of we we expect we expect that kind of things from the artificial. agent also understood now in the levels of knowledge based agent in the implementation level of knowledge based agent we have seen the three levels yes which three levels of implementation of knowledge based agent we have discussed which are the three levels of implementation of knowledge based agent yes whether we have, we have studied or not knowledge level logic level exactly. and 
इम्प्लिमेंटेशन लेवल इम्प्लिमेंटेशन लेवल अंडरस्टूड नॉलेज लेवल मध्य का इन द नॉलेज लेवल ओनली द वॉट एपन इन द नॉलेज लेवल वी गिव द रॉ इन्फॉर्मेशन टू दैट आर्टिफिशियल एजेंट अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज दॉट इज हैिंग इन द सेकंड लेवल लॉजिक लेवल देर आर टू लॉजिक प्रोपोजिशन लॉजिक एंड फर्स्ट द लॉजिक लेवल वॉट वी डू वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट दैट नॉलेज विच वी हैव गिवन इन द नॉलेज लेवल यूजिंग सम लॉजिकल फॉर्म ये सर नो Yes, sir. Just like I previously give you the example of uh, doing the uh, doing the program of uh, finding bridge. the average average of some numbers, finding and the bridge average. between A and B, sir. Yeah. Now today only I give you the example finding the average of ten numbers. So the knowledge that you are having in your mind that is nothing but the we can call as a raw information. Yes or no? Yes, sir. And. when you use the c language and you apply some logic and do the program you are representing your knowledge in some another form when you write the program by using your knowledge yes you are representing your knowledge related with the finding the sum of 10 numbers you are representing that knowledge in some programmatic form by applying some logic yes or no yes sir yes, sir. that is nothing but your logical level there and when you execute yes, your program and you get the output that is nothing but your implementation level correct implementation yes sir so same thing we can apply here same thing is uh, same analogy is here in case of uh, uh, creation of the artificial agent also if you want to create the artificial agent there are the three levels knowledge level logic level and the implementation level so in the knowledge level we just give the raw information to the that agent in the logical level we have to apply some logical form we have to apply some uh, syntax and semantics related with the logics and we have to represent that knowledge of first level so that our agent can understand what we are asking that agent to do understood and that is nothing but what you can say the logic is so i in the first lecture also i have given you the example of what exactly mean by the logic i have given an example of if you throw the stone in the air that stone will always fall on the ground what is the reason behind that gravity reason behind that is nothing but the gravity understood so gravity is nothing yes, but some kind of proof or the validation proof or the validation behind the that your stone will always fall on the ground understood so the same thing i have mentioned here related with the uh, if you go to the according to the definition uh, as a word to word definition of the logic here i have mentioned logic can be defined as a uh, the proof or validation behind any reasons provided now in case of that stone thrown in the air and it will fall on the ground reason behind that is nothing but what or proof behind that proof behind that or validation behind that is what because of the law of the gravity gravity so in order for the human beings to think for the human beings to take the decision there used to be a some kind of logical thinking all of you are agree yes sir yes, and when human being can think logically when he has some kind of knowledge am i right yes sir yes sir that is we have to do we have to ju we just don't have to give some knowledge to the agent but we have to represent that knowledge in some logical form all of you are getting yes sir and yes, sir. represent that particular knowledge in the logical form we have to take the help of different kind of formal language in the form of some formal logic understood so that is nothing but our today's point of discussion that we are going to discuss various forms of the logic how that knowledge or the information in the first level of the implementation of knowledge base agent can be represented with the help of some logic okay now there comes the another point that is what the inference what exactly mean by the inference okay now in case of the artificial intelligence we we want or we need the our intelligent agent to create some new logic from some old logic or to create some new information from some old information in the sense what we want our agent should create some conclusion from some given facts 
<laughs> okay creating the new logic from the old logic is nothing but creating some conclusion from the old facts is it right creating yes, the sir. the new logic from some old logic is nothing but the creating some conclusion from the existing facts understood that is nothing but the called as the inference understood creating some conclusion yes, from some existing information it is for the called as a inference inference let's, let's take here the example suppose here i have written the first fact that is i called as a minor premise i will tell you the what do you mean by the premise okay first fact or the minor premise i have written here every mammal has a spine second premise i have written here dog is a mammal now i, I hope you are getting the meaning of mammal and the spine if not then let me tell you what do you mean by the mammal yes mammal means what are the human beings are the mammal or not hmm that is you are lacking in your english communication you don't have the vocabulary skill vocabulary power mammal manje kay sastan prani aikla ka kadi word yes sir ata sastan prani manje kay te tumhi baka and spine means what spines means pathi cha kana mag ata tari sanga human beings are mammals or not yes, yes sir mammals so first fact i have written every mammal has a spine dog is a mammal now can you tell me what kind of conclusion you can make from these two statement can we make any conclusion from these two statement yes sir what dog has spine i have written there spine. dog has a spine spine but here this spine. is the thing i am telling you in the first statement creating the new logic from the old logic or creating the new evidence from the old evidence what was the old evidence here every mammal has a spine and a dog is a mammal this is nothing but the old evidence or the old logic from this when you create some new logic or when you create some new evidence what new logic you have created dog has a dog has spine, spine and that is called as the, that this concept is called as the inference got the point of inference yes sir same thing yes, i have written here that i have explained you with the example here in the artificial intelligence we need the intelligent agent what kind of agent we need which can create the new logic from the old logic and so generating conclusion from that evidence or generally the conclusion from that old logic or the old fact is considered as a inference understood the concept of inference yes sir yes sir okay now let me tell you here only what exactly I mean by the premise premise in the sense the proposition premise in the sense the proposition what do you mean by the proposition then proposition manje kay in english what do you mean by the proposition statement statement some kind of statements understood now in detail we see about that okay now as we are discussing whatever the knowledge is there in your mind it has to be represented in some logical form now as we are discussing the levels of implementation of kba knowledge based agent in the first level in the first level of that implementation of kba we have some we have some raw discrete information which is present in the knowledge level now this raw information has to be represent in some formal language this raw information has to be encoded or this raw information has to be converted into the some formal language 
using some formal language and we have the way of representation of that raw information into the some formal language with the help of the formal logic and in order to do that we have the two kinds of formal logics are there proposition logic and the first order logic so using this proposition logic and the first order logic at the logical level encoding of the knowledge into the logical sentence happens now how how, how actually it happens what are its uh, advantages disadvantages of the proposition logic what are the advantages of the first order logic etc etc et that is nothing but our next part to be get study so formal logic is nothing but the consist of these two kinds of logics the proposition logic and the first order logic so you know what exactly if you want to define the formal logic technically so you can define the formal logic it is nothing but the abstract study of the proposition statements or some assertively used sentences now what exactly mean by the proposition then so propositions are not all the statements cannot all the statements cannot be formed the propositions but the, all the propositions can be the sentences you might not getting the meaning of this i will prove that so proposition is always considered as a some declarative sentence or the assertive sentence or the statements which can be always true or which can be always false but it they cannot be always same means any any proposition if you calling certain uh, statement or if you are calling certain sentence as a proposition the conclusion from that sentence can always be true or conclusion from that sentence can always be false but it cannot be at the same time true or it cannot be at the same time is false you are getting yes sir okay for example now which kind of sentence or which kind of statement then we can call the proposition now if i write here the sentence or the statement narendra modi is the prime minister of india now if he is the prime minister if he is the prime minister then it is true yes or no yes sir if he is not then it is false but it cannot be true it cannot be same at the uh, it cannot be true or false at the same time is it is it possible no no so that kind of sentence or statement is called as the propositions now then what is the difference between the proposition and other kind of sentences that part we have to study further okay as i said what statement i made every proposition can be a sentence but every sentence cannot be a proposition okay now for example as i said in the formal logic formal logic is nothing but the study or representation of different kind of proposition statement or sentences or assertively used sentences then we have to then see what exactly mean by the other kind of sentences for example sentence can be assertive sentence can be imperative or sentences can be the interrogative okay you can also call the assertive sentence as a declarative sentence also okay now for example if i said the statements open the door now what kind of sentence is this is this the declarative sentence or the assertive sentence or it is the imperative sentence imperative manje kay imperative manje kay marathi madhe sir imperative sentence manje tyach madhe kay or order dili jate ki adnya okay adnya dare kay tari aye te okay so इम्पेरेटिव इन द सेंस का आज्ञा दी जाते ऑर्डर दी जाते तो ओपन द डूअर देन डू यू नो मी इट इज वॉट काइंड ऑफ सेंटेन्स इज दिस क्वेश्चन इज देअर इंटरोगेटिव प्रश्नार्थी प्रश्नार्थी अंडरस्टूड सो नाउ हियर वी कैन नॉट से ओके नाउ दीज आर नॉट द प्रोपोजिशन बट दीज आर देंटेन्सेस what yes. we are saying these are not the proposition but these are the sentences understood and that that is the reason i am saying every proposition can be a sentence but every sentence cannot be a proposition Position. for example lastly i given the example narendra modi is the prime minister of india it is a declarative yes. sentence or it is yes. assertive sentence yes or no 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what you have to keep in mind here: only the declarative sentences or only the assertive sentences are considered to be the proposition. Proposition. Okay, you can note down this point. What? Not every sentence is considered as a proposition, but which sentences, assertive or declarative, de declarative sentence, are declarative. considered to be the proposition? Other like the imperative, interrogative. I have not also taken the example of exclamatory sentences also. These sentences are not being come under the category of the proposition. Proposition. Okay. Now let's see further. Here only I have mentioned the same thing that we are discussing: declarative or assertive sentence. Most of the sentences of English language are the assertive sentence sentences which declare or assert a statement, feeling, opinion, incident, event, history. Anything is called as the assertive or the declarative sentence. This is all the kind of things comes under the which kind of sentence? Assertive or the declarative sentence and. this kind of sentence always end with the dot which is also being referred as a period all the kinds of assertive or the declarative sentence always being end with the dot so assertive sentence can be either affirmative or it can be a negative what do you mean by this assertive sentence can be a affirmative or the negative affirmative means hokararthak ani negative positive or the means... negative just like we have discussed proposition can always be false or it can be always be true correct proposition can always be false or it can be a it can always be a true yes, the same thing i have mentioned the proposition uh, as i said the assertive sentence or the declarative sentence are called the proposition so here i have mentioned the assertive sentence can either be a affirmative or the negative it's been same that proposition can always be a positive or it always can be a negative what the meaning yes sir here another examples of the proposition i have mentioned alex is a good baseball player now he he can be or he cannot be yes or no yes sir alex is a good good baseball player he true asu shakta ani false pan asu shakta pan at the same time it can be a true and false correct yes sir so that is the proposition another example also given he plays for the rocks uh, rockers club he plays for the rockers club he might be playing he might not be playing yes or no yes sir so these kind of yes, sentences sir. are the come under the category of the what you can say the propositions okay clear the point of proposition is clear yes yes sir and now as we are discussing we have to represent the knowledge in some logical form and have to represent that we have the two forms of the formal logic one is the proposition logic and another is the first order logic order first logic. we go for the in details about the uh, proposition logic and then we'll see uh, about the this uh, second kind of logic that is the first order logic okay now some basic facts or the some introductory point about the proposition logic here you can see so in the proposition logic now it is a uh, straight forward in the proposition logic only which kind of sentence we can handle assertive only the assertive or the declarative sentence declarative sentence only the sentence which is having the meaning as a only true or false only that yes. kind of sentences can be handled with the help of the proposition logic so that is the reason here i have mentioned the proposition logic is the analytical statements analytical sentence statement manje kay ki tyachavar apan kay tari analysis karu shakto ki kay hi barobar ahe ka chu kay whether it is a correct or whether it is a wrong that is the reason here it is being said the proposition logic is the analytical statement which is either true or which is false okay so it is a basically a technique that represent the knowledge in the logical and some mathematical form how we will see that next so there are the there are also the two types of the proposition logic one is the atomic proposition and another is the compound proposition we will see in that later details in further part of this so proposition logic is the simple form and powerful form of the logic where all the statements are or where all the statements are made by the proposition so propositions is generally considered as a declarative kind of sentence or the statements 
which can be either true or which can be either false let's see some another facts about the proposition logic so here you can see it's uh, this is a kind of logic which is also called as the boolean logic also this is important this logic is also called as what kind of logic boolean logic why boolean. it is called as the boolean logic because boolean have only two parameter Sorry. yeah and proposition logic also works in that way only it can be always yes. true or it can be always false so here it false. if it is false zero it is true one that's why it one. is being also referred as a boolean logic yeah. so in the propositional logic we use the different kind of symbolic variable to represent the logic and we can use any symbol representing the proposition symbols like the capital letter capital letters from the a to z only some i have mentioned here but we can use the capital letter capital letter from the a to the z proposition can either be true or false it cannot be both at the same time proposition logic consists of the object relation function and in most importantly various kind of logical connective logical connective in the sense you must be knowing and or not like this kind of things are come under the category of logical connective and these logical connectives are so called as the logical operators, operators. You, if you are just have the some basic logic logic of the discrete mathematics then you will understand this part very easily okay am i right yes sir okay sir. let's see the some further things uh, in the proposition logic the proposition and connectives are the basic main elements of the proposition logic okay connectives are said to be as a logical operator which connect the two different kind of sentences propositional formula which is always true is called as the tautology this is important what the proposition formula which is always true is called as what the Tautology. tautology and this kind of sentence is called as the valid sentences the proposition formula which always false is called as the contradiction you must have heard about this kind of terms yes or no contradiction yes proposition yes. formula which always false is called as the contradiction and which is always true is called as the tautology tautology, tautology. statement which tautology. are statements which are questions commands are not the proposition such as where is the sachin yes, how are Hello. you what is your name these are not the proposition as already we have discussed let's see some other more examples related with the proposition for example if there is a mathematical sentence 7 plus 4 this is also the proposition it is it can be a true or it can be a false, false. at this stage it is false. false apples are black this is also the proposition it can be a true it can be false narendra modi is the president of india this is also a proposition 2 and 2 makes the 5 this is also a proposition delhi is in india this is also the proposition so here all these statements are considered as a proposition this is because they are all either true or they are either false but not false. both at the time let's see further now let's uh, focus on the types of the proposition logic Okay, in that uh, we have the two types. Atomic proposition. The one is the compound uh, proposition. Atomic proposition, and second is the compound, compound proposition. proposition. Compound okay. proposition. Now, first as the atomic. Atomic propositions are nothing but the simple proposition. It is also called as the simple proposition, and it consists of the single proposition symbols. These are the sentences which must be either true or false. now atomic in the sense the single propositions okay what do we what do we mean by single we will understand this in the example for example 2 plus 2 is a 4 and now it is the atomic proposition and it is the true fact the sun is cold this is also the single proposition and it is yes sir it is uh, it is a false fact false tar atomic yes. manje kay consider karaycha ki single proposition hai that is the meaning of atomic proposition आता पुढचं घेतल्यानंतर तुमच्या लक्षात येईल की वॉट वॉट आय एम सेईंग ओके सेकंड कॅटेगरी इज कंपाऊंड प्रोपोजिशन सो कंपाऊंड प्रोपोजिशन आर कन्स्ट्रक्टेड बाय कंबाइनिंग सिंपल और ऍटॉमिक प्रोपोजिशन युझिंग सम पॅरेन्थेसिस और युझिंग सम लॉजिकल कनेक्टिव्ह नाव सी हिअर वॉट एक्झाम्पल इज दिस इट इज रेनिंग टुडे and street is wet 
now if you just consider this first statement only forget about this second then it is atomic it is atomic proposition yes or no yes sir yes sir पण हे याला जर तुम्ही दुसरी एक स्टेटमेंट कनेक्ट केली काय इट इज रेनिंग टुडे अँड स्ट्रीट इज वेट देन इट बिकम्स व्हॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रोपोजिशन कंपाउंड प्रोपोजिशन नाउ गॉट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू यस सर ओके अँड नी कनेक्ट झाले सर हां दैट इज द इट इज दैट इज द रीजन इट इज कॉल्ड एज द कंपाउंड प्रोपोजिशन ओके proposition uh, then second we have the ankit is a doctor and his clinic is in the mumbai this is also the combining of uh, two atomic Come. proposition together oh. first is this one and second is this one the, so that is nothing but the two important team yes, two important types of the uh, what you can say uh, the proposition logic one is the uh atomic proposition which only consider the single uh, proposition uh, or we can see we can say it is only consider the single sentence or yes. another category is the compound comp- proposition which consider the uh, more than one pro- proposition or more than one sentence combined together together hello yes hello yes sir yes sir yes sir okay let's let's see the last point in this then remaining point will continue tomorrow so uh, next point we must discuss that is the question being always asked here the two marks syntax and the semantics in case of the proposition logic so logic. syntax syntax of the proposition logic define the what kind of allowable sentence for the knowledge representation ki knowledge aplala apan proposition logic use karun kay karnar hai apan knowledge represent karnar you are getting my point yes sir yes sir tar te knowledge represent jasa tumhi c language use karun kay karta tumhi kay tari knowledge represent karta yes sir mag te karnyasathi tumhi kasa pan program lila tar chalel ka nahi you are using some syntax and some semantics there yes sir similarly here if you want to represent some knowledge using the proposition logic then we also use you have to use some syntax and the semantics okay so here mm-hmm. simple uh, syntax are there proposition symbols are denoted with some capital letter capital letters that already i told you like from a to z proposition logic constant have the truth value generally considered as a zero as a false one as a true then proposition logic make the use of wrapping parenthesis while writing the atomic sentences parenthesis use kele jata like this understood and these are only some general uh, syntax and the uh, semantics when you are representing the knowledge utilizing the proposition logic okay all of you understood this part yes sir okay remaining yes, part will continue tomorrow so that's yes, it from the tomorrow today's lecture thank you all of you thank, thank you sir. sir thank you sir. okay related with the experiments yes, uh, how many experiments i have given you two 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 uh, two which are uh, first in q and the second is uh, chatbot 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 to dilaga theek hai all of you all of you are writing yes sir yes sir okay yes sir i will give you the remaining also so you just go on okay. completing that and try to understand okay, if you are getting otherwise uh, uh, depends on the situation i will try to give you the experimental demo of that also okay okay, okay sir okay thank you yes sir